All right, everybody, how you doing? This is uh, George, a.k.a. Agent 86, and uh, today we're going to be going through uh, the first run process on the new G-Box Q3. So if uh, you're looking at the screen, you see that the first thing it's going to ask you to do is to pair your remote. So we're going to go ahead and press OK on our uh, standard remote control. Uh, first thing it wants to know after that is what language so if uh, if you want the uh, Arabic language or you want Spanish language or whatever, just go down to the language you want. I'm going to select English United States. Uh, the next thing it's going to ask you to do is to adjust the display. So most people will be around 90, 91. Uh, the next thing after that is uh, how are we going to connect it? Are we going to have a wire display? Or we're going to connect it to a wireless, uh, or a wireless uh, internet. So uh, I'm going to hook it up to the Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm going to select uh, this one here. So very important. If it does not say the word connected, you're not connected. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and click next and go on to the next step. All right, the last step is it's going to check to see if there's any uh, any available updates. So if there is a new update available, it's going to give you this pop-up window, and uh, we're going to say review update. So check for new online updates, and we're going to go ahead and download. So depending on your internet speed, uh, and carrier, you know, this could take uh, a couple minutes or it could be something that just happens uh, really fast. All right, so after you update, the box should go ahead and reset itself and then start installing the uh, system update. All right, so let's go ahead and go through the uh, process again. Click OK, select your language, adjust your display. I'm going to go wireless. So I'm still connected. And uh, as you can see, the device is up to date. No updates are available. All right, so here's our, uh, our first look at the new G-Box Q3. As you can see, the, uh, the user interface is totally redone. Uh, they made this thing really easy for the end user. Anyone can get this box and uh, be able to watch some movies uh, pretty simply. Uh, you see here on the home tab that you have uh, Facebook, you have Kodi, you have the uh, Matricom store which is an alternative to the Google Play Store and YouTube. Uh, you also have a video section, a couple suggested applications like Filmon, Hulu, Netflix, and Tubi TV. Uh, you have a couple music apps, uh, apps like Pandora, Spotify, Deezer, and SoundCloud. Uh, this section here is for all the apps that are already on the box. Uh, you have a, a game section and uh, these shortcuts here for the Google Play or Matricom uh, store. Either one of those you can download free games. Uh, live TV, there's a, a couple shortcuts for uh, some popular live TV applications like Sling Television, uh, SPB TV, Pluto TV, and uh, Crackle Movies. Uh, the last section here is for your theme. So we're looking right now at the, uh, at the default theme, which is this black background with the bubbles. Uh, maybe you like this one better, or maybe you like this gray texture, uh, or maybe you like these, uh, what is those mountains or sand dunes or whatever it is in the background? I kind of like this orange one, so I'm going to go ahead and stick right here. Let's go ahead and explain some of these buttons up here at the top. You have this little bell here, which will bring up your notification bar. Uh, in here, you uh, if you have any notifications from YouTube or any emails or whatever, uh, this is where it's going to go ahead and pop up. Uh, you also have a, a shortcut to your settings here. So if you need to get to your settings, that's another way. Uh, you have this little X, and this X will kill any running apps. Uh, then you have this little antenna, which will bring you to your network settings. 
So here you'll be able to connect to another Wi-Fi uh, or connect uh, with uh, WPS. Um, you know, change your proxy settings, your IP settings. Right. Uh, this uh, this icon here is just another network uh, one. If you were to have it connected via Ethernet, that'll change. Uh, this little icon up here is for a USB so if you have a USB plugged in uh, you know you'll be able to access it from right here uh, you also have your Bluetooth settings right there at the top so we're already connected to the uh, simple matrimo uh, however if you wanted to uh, set up something else like your uh, Matricom gamepad you could do that right here no problem Um, you also have your settings right here in the front. So I like this little settings here. This is uh, something new for Android 7. And, uh, you know, you got your network sound, uh, all of that here on your front screen. Um, you know, you got your display settings right there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, another cool feature I see here is that uh, you have the date and time. And you can highlight the date and time up there in the corner and click it. And there goes your time, uh, date and time settings. So everything is right here, but if you needed to change it for whatever reason, uh, that's cool that we can do that right now. So uh, going to Cody, right? When you first get the box, the box actually doesn't have Cody on it. What it's going to do is take you to the Google Play Store. So if you're not signed into the Google Play Store. Go ahead and do so now. <clears throat> Click I agree. And uh, we just scroll down the page and uh, we're just going to say OK. And there we go. So we can install Kodi from uh, right here. Very easy. And the good thing about uh, having it like this versus having a version of Kodi already on the unit is that uh, people who first get the unit, they'll be able to get the latest version of Kodi that's out. And there we go. kodi has been installed on the unit. We're going to open it up one time. Uh, as uh, as of the date of this video, the latest stable version of Kodi is 17.4. And there we go. So uh, I'm going to go back home. So taking a quick look at the Matricom store. We're going to go ahead and allow it to uh, access the photos and all that. So you have your applications. You got all kinds of applications, entertainment, shopping, communication, social, right? You got games, right? So the same. You know, if you want, uh, you know, educational games or action, action games, for instance. Here's a couple of different games that you can go ahead and uh, and add to the uh, add to the unit. So in the My Apps section, you have uh, the apps that are already installed. And if there's any updates, uh, you'll see right here that uh, you'll be able to update the applications from right there. So under video, you have a lot of great applications like uh, Tubi TV or Netflix. I've already successfully logged into uh, to Netflix. And uh, if there's any shows that I want to see. We're just going to go ahead and uh, try something.
So another great uh, application that comes on the box is Tubi Television. Uh, if you don't have Tubi TV, uh, go ahead and uh, download it today. The great uh, application has a lot of free movies and TV shows, and uh, it's all absolutely free. They do have some commercials. Uh, however, the quality of the video is very, very good. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. So Tubi TV is going to ask you to either sign in or to create an account. So if you don't have an account, uh, you have two options. You can either sign up with Facebook or sign up with an email. Uh, so if you sign up with an email, just go ahead and enter in your uh, your information. For instance, agent 86 and uh, add your birthday, email, whatever password it is you want to use. And uh, then you'll be able to enjoy uh, Tubi TV. So it's definitely worth it to go ahead and make the account. Film on TV uh, is another great application, been around for a very long time. And as you can see, um, you can easily download it by just clicking on the shortcut here on the front. So Batchercom, they definitely put a lot of thought into this as far as making this thing easy as possible for the clients. Uh, like I said earlier in this video, anyone who touches this box basically is going to be able to drive this thing around no problem uh, it's very easy you don't even need the program code these days is with as many uh, great applications that are out there uh, you know even YouTube so uh, under music we got our Pandora we got Spotify Deezer or uh, SoundCloud so if you have a SoundCloud account you know you can go ahead and log into your SoundCloud account here and use your uh, your unit for some good music so the model is the uh, q3 right the Android version is 7.1.8 so if we click on the Android version so uh, another cool thing about the uh, gbox q3 is uh, if I put my mouse all the way at the top I'll get my notification bar here and I can pull down uh, pull down my uh, my settings also if I grab the bottom and pull up uh, I'll get this little bar here where I have my volume control I have I have uh, my volume control I have the power button and uh, if I wanted to take a screenshot you know there's my screenshot so that's pretty much it for how to set up your Gbox Q3. We've reached the end of the video. Uh, this is the time of the video where I ask you a couple questions. Number one, uh, I want to know is what do you think of the new user interface? Does this look easy to use to you? Uh, also, do you see anything that we might have left out? We definitely want to hear your opinion on this. Make sure that you comment below. Definitely don't forget to hit that red subscribe button uh, down below and uh, well as always we appreciate you watching have a great rest of the day